On this RHEL 6 machine, we've implemented rule-based access controls to confine users. So with this demo user, we can see that their context is staff user, staff role, and staff T domain. And we've also given them sudo access so that they can change their UID. So as you can see, they can't read Root's um, home folder, which is fine, but their context has stayed the same uh, while the UID has changed to zero. So if we change the temp, um, the request has come through that uh, this user needs access to TCP dump. If we run TCP dump, we'll see that that won't work. Okay, we have permission denied on the socket. So the question is how do we give access um, for that role to run TCP dump? The way in which we do that is by finding the appropriate um, interface for that. So first we start off by looking at the type uh, assigned to TCP dump and we can see that that's netutils exec t so if we take that and recursively grep for that and use it share se linux yeah this is the location where all of the reference policy uh, interfaces are and clearly uh, this is the uh, interface file that we need to look in. So if we less that, oops, and then we go looking for net utils, underscore exec t, we find this here. So this interface um, says that it allows the domain to execute network utilities in the network network utils domain and that's fine but that's not going to work for us because we actually need the uh, interface below it um, which does the same thing but it also allows the specified role uh, to use the net utils domain and that's really important because um, this is not a system process that is not is going to be executing TCP dump, it's actually a user uh, with their own role. So in here we can see that two parameters are taken. So the domain to allow access and the second one is the role and the name of the interface is netutils underscore run. So we'll take that, we'll make a directory called foo, change in there, and we'll create a policy file so policy module foo version 1 and we'll require so the types that we need is um, uh, staff underscore t and uh, we need the role staff underscore r there we go Okay, so here's our uh, interface, and it was domain and then role. So it'll be staff underscore t, uh, staff underscore role. Then if we compile that, oops. Okay and then insert that into the kernel.
Okay. If we come back here and we run TCP dump again on ETH0, put to bar, and it works. It's as easy as that.